<laughs> so we're so watching really the That's kind of scary. 90 Days Fiancé in the Human Life. Really the yeah. This gonna be Delon. so oh, exciting right, because so they had you a face off. And went to Vegas. We weren't getting along. They showed a preview like, like what's gonna happen. Yeah, it's just something. From shocking make up. with past lovers, we cannot have this conversation without. And of course, you know that Ed is Jeff, here. I come here for show the truth. And Colt. But this is a bitch. Who are they? Of course, two. Colt's ex is that. Uh, no, there are her, like surprise guests. <laughs> Absolutely not. Get the f out. But Colt is looking better than Ed now, so that is like really <laughs> what is going on? Who insulted me? Who constantly gaslights? You're crazy. You're crazy. Something is wrong with you psychologically. Nobody holds back. Do you think your mom is controlling? I don't tell him what to do. Baby him, you coddle him. Yeah. I don't know what to get. Oh, my God. everyone stop. I think it's time for everybody to get off the nipple. Wow. Fuck you. And it all starts. <laughs> Look now. at Liz there. She's so surprised. Ed is really drawing pointers. Coach, you get off the nipple. But Ed is with his mother as well, still, no? So what's he, what's he talking about? Okay, yeah, they broke up a lot. He really looks so sad. He always do that, even he's with draws. He's, he's fake. He's faking it. He's a master manipulator. Hey, how are you? Hi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> hey, uh, so Colt, I can. Uh, I call you Colty. Is that okay? Yes. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know what will happen next. <laughs> so, what is it like living with your mom? Whatever. Whatever. But you, you, you pull more, more fish out of the water than anybody I've ever met. Is that a Good compliment? <laughs> yeah, well, maybe. He's just an <laughs> asshole. Yeah. Uh, Liz is not here. Or maybe saying? someone said that. See? Uh, said Liz is not there. Are you guys still dating? Oh, oh don't cry. God. I'm sorry. <laughs> and they will beat him <laughs> though. They, they don't know the backstory. Just wait till you hear this side story. It's Liz is not here. Like, okay. <laughs> Liz is just here. Liz is just going to be dead, no? Sure. Ah, he doesn't know. Mm. It said the Elise is not gonna be. Oh, uh, he doesn't know. Yeah. Your voice is so funny. Bitch, man, I'm telling you. Yeah. Sorry, it's a motherfucker. <clears throat> Anyways, whatever. Um, Liz is somebody that I cared for and loved very much, and and she was. She wasn't wrong, she okay. was just... This show is like so toxic, yeah. so much drama, this hey. is just... Good to see you. Unreal, these you producers must be like really girl. evil, like, you know what? Hi. I'm gonna How throw that out. Good to meet you. But they will think, why is there another chair? Hey, Colt. Mm. Hey, Sean, how are you doing? Hi. Who will sit you? on that chair? So we're only missing Brittany. Oh yeah, one chair. Who's the extra oh, that's chair? Pretty cool. Fuzzy, extra I chair. What happened in this thing? <laughs> okay. So maybe she's not told also to oh, just she's go early. Um, I'm just numb at the thought uh, that I'm gonna see Ed. This is going to be the worst experience. I I couldn't sleep last night. Oh, I see. Now that I was gonna see Ed today, I um always thought we'd be in New York together. Just go ahead. Oh, Ed again abused someone, no? Humiliated her, no? And he's like, yeah, I'm the victim there. I'm the victim. I'm gonna play the victim. And I, I, I love how she dressed. Oh. And like, oops. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Oh Look at that. He's like, oh. <laughs> deep breath. <Sure. laughs> <laughs> deep breath. At this um, moment, Ed knew. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Point. <laughs> Thanks for being here. 
everyone, and welcome to 90 Day, the Single Life Tell-All. I'm Sean Robinson. For the very first time, we're diving into the single life because everyone here today is on their second or third or fourth quest for love. We're going to dig into That's all cool. of the juicy cool. details and see what it's like when the pressure to hurry up and get married is off, but the search for love is as intense as ever. We plan to have everyone here today, but right now we are still waiting for Brittany. <laughs> she has oh, not shown sure. up yet, but we are hoping to hear from her soon and hope she'll I wonder be if she has a contact on you know still what? a part of my life uh -oh. but as, as a friend. It is so unfair the way well, that uh, I think they're going to play with some people's emotions. I think they're going to be mentally. Well, I always get to see you again. Scarred. And you've got your mm -hmm. boyfriend Kelly with you today. How are things going? Great. We're doing pretty good. We're good. It's been, I'm just being prepared for today. That's all. I <laughs> don't know what's going to come out. You're getting ready for the firing squad. Gonna be coming at you from all ways. <laughs> now, we're going joking, to huh? start with Ed <laughs> and Liz. We so see you guys now. are sitting not together today. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Um, we broke up. <laughs> You broke up. Oh, look at that laugh. We broke up a month ago today. Okay, well, the last time that we saw you, you were making plans to move in together. What happened? Um, Ed loves to rush our relationship. When we finally became a couple, the next week I was meeting his daughter, the next week I was meeting his sister, his brother. I was found in multiple situations I was not prepared for. It took me months to introduce him to my grandparents. Months for that to happen. Mm -hmm. To break up two weeks later. Mm -hmm. She's so hurt. Oh, huh? I think she's saying that, yeah. I can tell this is emotional for you to talk about and, right and now. What are you fake. feeling? I just don't feel sympathy. Mm. It's fake. <sighs> She's so genuine. I just would have never taken those steps if I knew that this was going to be the outcome. Because I was not expecting this to be the outcome. I was expecting to be with each other. I never thought he would not be a part of my life. I thought he was going to be the one. Imagine that. Genuine love for it. Now I'm here on the single life. <laughs> Look at that. She's like, really, you can you can feel that. Single. She means everything. Mm -mm. But Ed's already scripting something in his head. Ed is the reason that you two are no longer a couple because you were taking the relationship too fast? Um. Sorry. Um. We moved way too fast. Like she didn't have a chance. He's an actor. Our relationship didn't have a chance. He's an actor. So everything you said is true. Plus she told me um, I don't want to move too fast and and I want to keep my friends and I just skipped right over that. I was so excited for the first time in 29 years that I had somebody that was Interesting. Like a peak, you know? Squeal like a peak, you know? And I was so afraid um, to like anyone, to like Liz, because I would get rejected. And the minute she said, I see you as boyfriend material, I stopped listening. I didn't listen to one word she said, and I was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make her my girlfriend. I'm going to make her world amazing i'm gonna do everything i can it's not to give her what it does she deserved yeah she abuse. abuse and i fucked it up i fucked it up you're putting energy by abusing her no at one point i felt like if i didn't go at his pace i was gonna lose him that's why she, she said yes. Anymore, no, so she I would came in <laughs> and go at his feet. What made you think that he wouldn't want you anymore if you didn't go at he his feet? He must know what's going on. Look at her. He 
would tell me all the time that it wouldn't work out between us. And it scared me that I would lose him. Liz, I never... Look I mean, how you knocked thing. me off my world, man. Yeah. Yeah. You shut me out. <laughs> Young on the hood, you shut me out. Mm. I would get hurt. I got hurt. You hurt me. You hurt me. You just completely left me and you promised me you wouldn't leave me. This month has been hell. You blocked me and went to Vegas and ranted about your sugar babies. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> I'm so confused right now. Mm -hmm. Are you saying that Ed was hanging out with other women? I didn't expect to be dumped and then him be out in Vegas living a life. See, yeah, they, the producer know those... exactly what's going on. You know, they've been like sticking their stuff up after to really... you guys broke <laughs> up. Did you know he was hanging like, out? She doesn't know what it is. Two days. Oh. Oh. Two days. Damn, bro. Wow. Couldn't even wait three days, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> relationship to you had is it just someone you confess you love to and then after two days go hang out with a bunch of other girls is that love to you mm -hmm. i'm trying to fill Ew. my emptiness you broke up and i went to vegas and by the way i haven't been i haven't been with any woman he's a liar he's a liar liz look at me Okay, look at this. I'm looking at an asshole right now. I am in <laughs> therapy. I'm, ne I'm, I'm 55. I've never been in therapy. I know that there is a lot I need to work on for it's me. It's all fake. He's just... time is gone. Because mm -hmm. he sent me a lovely message at one point saying that he's going to take girls out constantly until he finds the one. Whoa. And that's wait. when I told myself it's time to move on after three weeks mm -hmm. of begging that we, like, not begging. Hoping we would get back together. Wait a minute, he sent you an email? No, he sent me a text message saying, yeah, you know what, I am going to go on dates constantly until I find the one. That killed me. That's that so confident. That killed me yeah. when I read those words. That's so confident, Ed, no? I'm going to be You're honest, God. I'm an He's asshole. Famous, no? When we fight, um, I'm an, an asshole. I am. But and I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a dick. <laughs> You played the, like but you. what was it that broke you up? Just about all huh. the time. Yeah. And what kinds of things would you fight about? Stupid stuff. I'm not really affectionate the way he is. Like our love languages are different, which can cause a conflict. Our problem is too is we would drink and fight. And that's what led to a lot of stupid fights. So Ed, let me ask you, what was hey, the point where the you two were no longer a couple? I don't even know. We don't know. We I don't even know. know. Like, I don't... We were in the jacuzzi drinking and we just started fighting and we're such stupid as shit. And I think I told you to leave and then you actually left. Of course she would leave. He would tell me multiple times when we fight, leave, leave. This isn't working out. I told him the next time he told me to leave his house, and then he wants I was going to leave and it. I left. Yeah, that's what he wanted to have control. And I was devastated. Um, you don't have control over her. Because she actually left. She will move out. So she will have nowhere to go. No safe haven. I know. With she the, the, she will be dependent with the daughter. Right? Yes, exactly. Yeah, she will, he will have so much control. See? Yeah. I think you're bullshitting us. No, we were mm -hmm. fight. We were fight. We weren't getting along, and there was a lot, you guys, that you don't see. I understand and that. You're, you've been looking for so long for something to fill your love tank, but Liz finally opened up where she had this huge wall and when when she opened up to actually love you you didn't have space and she did state that she had to adjust to your ways so you basically broke her down to be the way you you wanted and then now you don't want it now you don't want I, it i completely feel like that's what had happened mm -hmm. see so you, you understand 
And he's like, okay, so First I'm going to cry now. The reason why I do that, this is what my therapist is telling me, is dump his <laughs> brain and tell his stories like the therapist <laughs> yeah. is telling him. You sound like a piece of shit that would make me blush. <laughs> you, you and that says something. You're all this crap while you're off having fun with all the sugar babies. What mm. the fuck is she supposed to do? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what is it? Oh, he said, you'll make it even me, bro. He's called by the proper like womanizer and a cheat then. I said, once you I want to make this home feel like I'm coming home, not to my boyfriend's house. That hurt me, by the way. But he picked out photos of me, my daughter and I. And he put them up where he wanted to. I didn't get a say in the photos. I didn't get a say in the place. No, uh-uh, you didn't.